Hello, welcome back to Mass Effect 2 with Tristan Shepard. We have arrived on the Citadel as per Admiral Anderson's orders and we are going to go see the Council welcome, Commander and see Shepherd. if they can't get us please to help out. One moment, not unlocked I mean it's not locked amazing even if you get your specter status back if you let the council die this is locked even if you get your specter status back commander counselor Udina said you'd be coming if you'll follow me the council is already in session we've got our own problems counselor earth is not in this alone but Earth was the first Council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors. We have that plan, a blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... it would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggests it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And Adina's right. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need. But I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primark Vidorian called the War Summit, but... ...we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. 
The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later, if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <clears throat> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. The Council. To save their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans. And there's a need there. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. I should go. I'll be here. Yeah, I don't want to ask him about the political situation or political leverage, because then he'll say, I put you on the council, except the shepherd didn't put him on the council. He actually recommended Anderson, but Udina ended up on the council anyway. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al-Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that c and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. <laughs> Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? 
<laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Don't lose your edge. You might need it. I oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I saw Kalisa's camera over here on the side in the cutscene, but now it's gone. Should we let Kalisa beat us? Yeah, I think so. We should let... I think she'll take a pop at us. Kalisa, you get to hit us. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Kalisa bent seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can... I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Ha! You want some? <laughs> <laughs> on second thought, never mind. I don't have any more questions for you. <laughs> you got what you deserve there, Shep. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please one go. moment, please. Thing. Now, in a non-import game, I mean, is a non when I dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life, when I got this game, this is the first Mass Effect game I got, and. I didn't know it, you know, so I didn't have any. I closed the background of Ash and what she would want, so I just bought some flowers and some candy. And that was a waste. I mean, it was just a total waste of money. I was thinking, after I didn't give them to her, I was like, well, maybe they'll show up in the cabin. No. Why do they do that? Because you had all this crap you can give her.
but what she really wants is that right there. Why do they make it such a, you know, got to figure it out when for Caden, the only option, there's only one option, and that's that Peruvian whiskey or of some kind or other. So I, I don't really get why they made that differentiation where unless you played the previous games, you don't know what to get for Ashley, but there's no question as to what to get for Caden. I don't know why they did that. All right. Let's talk to... Dr. Michelle. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. I'm afraid I'll have to speak with CSEC about securing our supplies. Desperate people can do desperate things. We could use a doctor of your caliber on the Normandy. I'm honored you'd consider me, but I do have responsibilities here. The Normandy is critical to defeating the Reapers. The whole galaxy is depending on our success. You'd make a huge difference out there with us. More than you can ever do here. Well... Our staff is excellent. The Presidium would be in good hands. I'd pack my bags and tell Dr. Arrington she's received a promotion. I'll see you on the Normandy, Doctor. See you there. I just need to make a few more preparations. Okay. Of course, there's no Dr. Chakwas. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required stracial bindings. Meet you back here. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Finally, we're going to get back under Normandy. I can take a look at the memorial wall. Now arriving at docking bay D-24. The council called the... Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. Was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? Nope. 
Yep. So why would he be here unless he's seeing the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. A lot of people have real, real problems with Allers. I'm like, whatever, she's fine. I don't like the way she's dressed. I think she should wear actually some real clothing rather than a bathing suit. I have seen a modded version where she actually is wearing a decent dress. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? Hmm. The Reapers are Go here that way. now. And the Council, the other races, are only interested in looking after themselves. How many civilians are dying while they wait for us to make the first move? Oh, that's terrible At animation. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. They'll come around. They've got to. Terrible animation. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. 
Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. <sighs> Mm. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In... Finally, and there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Yeah, we don't need to go through all of that orientation stuff. We all know about it. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. <sighs> Cancel has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good. I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. All right, I did want to check here. I want to find out about uh, the Normandy, how much the Normandy's worth. Lost a third of our vessels, so these are worth, these whole fleets are worth 65 points. I think they'd be worth, uh, what, 90 points if we hadn't saved the council, I believe. All right, let's see. The Normandy's worth 90. Oh, look, there's the Cyclonics right there. So the Cyclonics did get registered, even though I built them after the suicide mission. So there they are. 
Uh, already the Normandy is more powerful than any Alliance fleet. <laughs> uh, so we got some we got some minerals too. All our mineral scanning, and I wanted to go check the memorial wall. Get back to your trainer. Commander, Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Okay. We'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. But I want to get down to... Check out this memorial wall. Now, in a non-import game, all of the crew is listed as dead. So, Garner and Kelly and Gabby and Ken, they're all listed as dead. Oh God! Look at the wall. It's already must already filled. Oh Jesus, this is horrible. So who who do, who all do we have up here? Well, Presley. Don't have much choice on him. Jacob Taylor. Kasumi Goto. Ken Donnelly. Richard Jenkins, who we know knew for all of fifteen minutes. Uh, do, 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 Thane Krios, Erdnot Rex from the first game, and Zach Matthews. That's obviously just a filler. Okay, who do we got up over here? Avina. Avina died. I thought Avina was a VI. How did Avina live? Die? Or, or is that Amina? I don't know. It looks like it's hard to tell. Gabriella Daniels. Oh, poor Gabby. Jacqueline Knott. That's Jack, obviously. Kelly Chambers. Miranda Lawson. Rupert Gardner. Hmm. And Zaid's name never appears on this wall. I don't know why Zaid never gets on the wall. But there it is. Jesus Christ, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven empty spots left on this on this wall. You can actually end up with more names on this wall. And there are slot or you can end up with more people dead than there are slots on this wall. It's pretty that's pretty pathetic. It's pretty nasty. All right. Well, that's enough for this episode. Until next episode, have a nice day.